Run. Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. Today, guys, we're going to be doing the Top 5 Underrated Maps in Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies. Now, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're really close to 115,000 subscribers, and I'm working on a really special video that I'm really excited to share with you guys. It's going to take a lot more time to edit and everything, but it's going to be freaking sick. So before we get into it, I just want to preface this by saying I asked you guys on Twitter to tell me what you thought was the most underrated map and using the responses from that is how I formulated the list. So if you guys ever want to have input on these lists, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter at Greg FPS and I tweet out something usually a couple times a week and you guys can respond and have your voice heard. So that is how you enter this whole thing. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Coming in at the number 5 spot for the most underrated maps in Treyarch Zombies history is going to be Revelations. Now when you think of a map that is going to end a life cycle, usually you're going to think of something that is extremely grand. It's going to be like the best, the biggest thing that they have ever had because it's the last DLC. Now Revelations tried to do that but failed epically. Now shooting rocks and basically doing the exact same thing as the Shadows Easter Egg to kill the Shadow Man was kinda crappy, let's be honest. But if you can throw that all aside, think about what Revelations really is. It's the culmination of Call of Duty Zombies over that 8 year span or 7 year span, whatever, I think it was 8 year span of just maps all together. We had Knocked in the middle, we had Origins, we had the Buried Tunnel, we had the Mob of the Dead cafeteria area and the cells. We also had Barak, which was really, really cool. And we even had Eisendrak, we had Kino, we had Shang. I mean, this thing was really, really cool how they combined everything and intertwined it into like one big thing. And I think that we really missed the point of what Treyarch was going for with Revelations. It was really to celebrate how cool that Revelations could be. And I really think that it's an underrated map and it gets a lot of crap because of how bad the Easter egg was. But I think that overall this map is really cool and a lot of people still enjoy it and a lot of people still like playing it. So I think if we can get past the hate and think it of it like how it is and how Treyarch design this kind of as fan service i definitely think it's a really good map and it deserves to get a little bit more respect than it does get so revelations comes in at the number five spot coming in at the number four spot is going to be zetsubo no shima now this map is not my favorite at all whatsoever and i'm gonna be honest like i didn't even want to put this map on the list but Zetsubo really isn't that bad. I know like everyone makes a meme, especially the YouTubers, about how bad Zetsubo is, about how bad transit is, all this sort of thing. It's really not that bad. We kind of just play it up like as a joke more than anything. And I feel like some of you guys don't really understand that it's just a joke. Like it's zombies and we love Treyarch zombies and we're just joking around about a map being terrible. Now, I will not go out and play Zetsubo, like, for fun, but I'll still play it. It's not, like, something that I'm dreading every single time I have to play it, for the most part. Um, it's, it's a really, really fun Easter egg, and it's a totally different map, and that's what I like about it. And that's why I think it's so underrated. It's because it was a whole new play style. Now, yes, you have Plant Simulator, which can be really grueling, and there are a few things that just don't really make this map fun. But then again, there's so many cool things that they added to this map, like the big spider boss that you have to kill is super, super cool. By far one of the coolest things. Having the gas mask was awesome. The Masamune and the KT4 were really cool wonder weapons, and I like the quest to build them. So this was more than just, uh, you know, YouTubers hating the map. 
I think what we didn't get from it was we had Derizon Drac and it built everyone's expectations to be like so amazing. So when we got to Tsubo and there were a few issues with the map, everyone all of a sudden just hated it. And the stigma of having Zetsubo for three months before we got Garad Krovi was another really big issue. So I think that if Treyarch can remove that and get rid of that whole like cycle that we experienced with Setsubo in Black Ops 4, then we're not gonna ever have a horrible map like Setsubo and just everyone hate it because it's really, it really gets a lot of crap and I don't think it's warranted. I think Setsubo is actually a pretty good map and I actually like it now after playing it a lot recently. Uh, it's definitely not as bad as everyone thinks. So Setsubo comes in at the number four spot. <clears throat> Jeez, I had something stuck in my throat, that entire one. Ugh. Coming in at the number three spot is gonna be Transit. Now, Transit, man, Transit. Whew. There's so many cool things about Transit. And everyone gives this map crap for the fog, the denizens, the lava, etc., etc. And yes, it sucks. But for what it was actually meant to be after Moon, they really kind of hit the head on the nail with this one. Now, the jet gun sucks, and everyone's always going to consider it to be one of the worst wonder weapons. Everyone says it's bad, and then there's these other people that are right-wing extremists that are like, the jet gun has unlimited damage. It's the best wonder weapon ever made. And, I, I mean, if you want to be one of those people, that's cool. You can do you. Uh, I'm not going to judge. But Transit gets a lot of hate, but what they really did, besides make a terrible way to open up Pack-a-Punch, they had a lot of buildables and that's really what they were introducing with black ops 3 we had so many different buildables and the best way to introduce that was by having a map that had a bunch of buildables everywhere and i think that was actually really good and a lot of people don't understand that and i really think that's why transit gets so much hate obviously the map is huge and ridiculously large and it was a really really big like Thing to undertake to have as the base map of the game now obviously they they had to cut a lot of stuff because they were running out of time but if they would have been able to actually work on it and flesh it out completely it would have been an amazing map and even during the day it would have been so cool but they added in a bunch of fog and everything which made it really really hard to be able to do so i'm hoping that we get a remaster of transit and it takes place during the day. That would be one of the coolest things that we could ever have in Call of Duty Zombies. So Transit comes in at the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot is my personal favorite map on this list, and it's going to be five. Now, I personally think five is by far one of the most underrated maps in Call of Duty Zombies history for a few different reasons. First of all, you have a brand new crew. You have Richard Nixon, JFK, Robert McNamara, and Fidel Castro, which is a super, super cool Cold War crew. And it was really really cool and unexpected when you go on five after beating the black ops one campaign i remember this like it was yesterday man just completing the black ops one campaign and all of a sudden i'm on a new zombies map in the pentagon it, it was so cool and then of course you have yuri running around and stealing people's guns and everything about this map is so different from conventional zombies, especially in Black Ops 1. It was a totally new experience that was completely unexpected. And it was so different because it didn't directly connect with the rest of the zombie storyline that we were used to in World at War with Rick Toppin. It was just a completely new crew. Besides the Marines, this is the first non like traditional crew that we had in zombies. And it was really, really cool. And I think that it gets a ton of hate because it's a hard map. It's a small map and a lot of people are not good at small maps. And that's why it gets a lot of hate. I think five, if you can get really good at five, you can be an amazing zombies player. And that's just how it is. Now there are some people that are really good and I'd like to play it for fun all the time, but seriously, give five a chance. I think once you play it a lot, you'll start to really, really like it like I do.
All right, guys, so for this video, we have one honorable mention, and that is going to be Nuketown. Now, Nuketown is iconic when it comes to Treyarch and Call of Duty. They had the original Nuketown and Black Ops 1, Nuketown 2025 and Black Ops 2, Nuketown 2065 in Black Ops 3, and they already confirmed another Nuketown for Black Ops 4 that's going to be closer to the original one in Black Ops 1. Now, we got Treyarch Nuketown Zombies and it's basically the exact replica of nuketown from black ops 1 but it's completely destroyed and obviously zombies have overtaken it and nuketown is awesome man it's so underrated because there's no easter egg on it there's nothing really a lot of people miss the point with nuketown because it's just supposed to be a basic survival map and a lot of people just miss it and don't even play it and they don't think it's good because maybe it's hard for them. Nuketown, I believe, is one of the best maps to learn how to train when it comes to Call of Duty Zombies. I remember in Black Ops 2, I that's really when I started to get a little bit better at Zombies. And I would play Nuketown all the time to get better at training. And once I got good enough at training, then I started doing it on other maps. And eventually, in the summer of like 2013, I was able to finally or it was the summer of 2014 like after uh black ops 2 had ended i was able to get to around 94 on origins just from training and practicing so much on nuketown so i think nuketown deserves a lot more credit uh it's definitely underrated in my book and a lot of people agreed with me on twitter so nuketown comes in at the honorable mention spot i would have liked to put it on the list but it's just not as underrated as some of the other ones all right guys and coming in at the number one spot for the most underrated map in call of duty zombies history is die rise now you guys were probably expecting this map and it's really hard to say why die rise is underrated but at the same time it really isn't if you take it for what it is it was supposed to be weird it was supposed to be different and they really went all out i mean some of the things where you're walking in a building upside down but you're not really upside down the building's upside down and like tipped over it's really trippy but it was really cool and i remember when they announced this map and i played it for the first time i thought it was extremely weird but i kind of digged it like a lot of people say that this map sucks and i can understand that because you can only fall off a map map so many times and just be like all right, this map's garbage. And a lot of people don't really know how to play it very well. So if you can get the hang of it and you can understand how the map works, how it flows, and know where everything is, it can be a really fun map. So I think Die Rise definitely deserved to be the number one most underrated map in Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies. And you guys agreed with me over on Twitter. So anyways guys thank you so much for watching this has been the top five underrated maps in call of duty zombies history if you guys agreed with my list let me know down below and if you disagreed that's fine as well you can also let me know down below but we're going to be making a bunch more lists so if you guys have any suggestions you can comment them down below and i'll see what i can do thank you so much for watching my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out